with a credit card. The money just hit the bank account today. I'm going to give my son what he deserves. And I will give her some what she, because she did market me that morning, but that's all she did. And he, I don't even know who he is. What's up, guys? It is your boy once again. With another episode of Foolery. People, I had to stop what I was doing today. Come back in here and do this. Keith Lee. Cool brother, Keith Lee. Him and his family going through Dallas, doing their tour. Get contacted by a young man who... Wants them to stop by his mother's food truck. He didn't promise anything, but guess what? Keith Lee came through. Stopped at the, stopped over there. Ate the food, had a good time, gave enormous tips, and the food truck owner fumbled the Keith Lee experience, being greedy. This is where we at, people. I'm pretty sure y'all probably seeing it here and there now. TikTok, everything everybody's talking about. It. So it's now y'all can see it here. So before we kick it off, y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe and that notification bell. For what? So you can get the next video. So let's jump right into this thing, man. I'm gonna let y'all just check it out for yourself. She fumbled the Keith Lee experience. Let's go. Keith Lee is officially in Dallas. So I asked him for help and come to visit my mom's food truck to hopefully turn it around. She is an award-winning pastry chef. And she is a culinary chef. She has two degrees. We are just from Milwaukee and here in Dallas, it's kind of hard with the marketing because we don't know our way even around yet. Well, we here. I got it. Let's try it and rate it one to 10. He spent $80 and 11 cents. We are in North Dallas, Texas. We in a hood. I'm not gonna say it no other way. We in a hood. They outside cutting hair, doing braids, waiting on us they both on live at the same time him and his sister but they outside ready so we had to be double o this whole time i'm talking about double o seven agents it's a party out here the custom service my family said was pretty good and it was alive the whole time so we can kind of see it only thing is the only person cooking is the mama so if you do come please be patient it's only one person there to cooking but it's a lot of people so she got the option to have a lot of hands i'm gonna show you everything i got and we're gonna try it and ready with the 10. A pulled pork sandwich, fried ribs with french fries, jerk chicken tacos with beans and rice, and two orders of banana pudding. Is this $80 worth of food? In my opinion, no. But consider He gave all the food a good review. All right? So he did give them a good review on the food. Let's finish. I give that solid 7.3 out of 10. But I like some people. I go 8.6. One of the main things I will say, in my opinion, the marketing does need a lot of help. There's no menu on the brother's page, on the sister's page, or the mom's page. I feel like a menu with prices should definitely be top priority. That and a website change, in my opinion. I appreciate the invite. And mama, you might need some more hands back there. No promises. It might get a little crazy. Before we left, we went in and had a conversation with the mom, and we thanked everybody for having us. Me and the mama prayed together, and we left a $4,000 tip behind. God, it's amazing. I appreciate y'all for having us. I see y'all giving out haircuts and doing braids. So we want to leave a thousand dollars to the barber, so we can cut everybody up for free. We want to leave you a thousand dollars because we took the hair. We want to leave you two thousand dollars. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so you start my barber for four thousand dollars, and y'all, y'all get the hair, y'all get the hair. Hey, absolutely. Okay, so this is where the problem comes right here. Now, did you hear him say he left four thousand dollars altogether? Now, he didn't mention he left an additional eight hundred eighty-six dollars to feed the people that's coming up there she said so whoever can eat free i'm gonna pay for at least 886 dollars worth of people all right so the next couple people coming up should have eaten free all right keep that in mind now he left a thousand to the the girl doing the braids braiding hair and a thousand to the barber who's out there cutting hair all right so keep those two things in mind but see mama didn't want to give up the money and that's where the young lady that's coming up she's a tiktoker who was out there helping and promoting her truck she just wanted to meet keith lee but it just went downhill from there but she will explain let's get it what's up y'all i bet you're wondering how we got here well let me tell you so a lot of y'all know yesterday i got to meet keith lee great congratulations i'm still humbled by the experience like i am ecstatic 
Blessings to your family. I really appreciate you. But now this is where the downfall comes in. A lot of y'all was on my live when he said this. I see y'all giving out haircuts. Hi, little brother. Yeah. yeah. He wants to leave a thousand dollars to the barber so he can cut he, everybody. Oh, that's my little brother. He wants to go pick up my baby brother for school. We want to leave you a thousand dollars to do it. To cut hair. We want to leave you two thousand dollars. And granted, everything was cool, right? Me being me and thinking everybody else is going to have the same genuine heart as me, I charged him $4,000 on his car, meaning all the money went to the food truck in hopes that she would do what she needed to do, right? Wrong. So after everything had died down, mind you, on top of him tipping $4,000, this man left an extra $886 to feed everybody else that was coming, right? Right, but this is where she went wrong. I'm in the truck, mind you, I'm a worker. This is your business, so I'm doing what you say. She tell me after this person, which is a third person, that you gotta start charging again. Hmm? Now it's one thing when he say I'm leaving this for free and for somebody to come and order like one of everything on the menu and try to get both desserts and drinks and shit. Like, yeah, you can put a limit on that. But if this man left you almost a thousand dollars, why the fuck did you stop handing free food out after the third person? Hmm? Make it make sense. So, all right, everything was cool. It was time to close down. You know, my friend done ran to the store. He helping his mom. He coming out of his pocket with his own money. And I looked at her and I was like, so, Keith Lee literally just spent $5,200 with you. She was like, girl, I know. I'm so excited. Like, before I got on here, I was broke. And before y'all come for me talking about don't be releasing no personal information, it got personal when you play with my baby brother. So, everything was cool, calm, and collect, right? She told me, she said, look. I just want to let you know it'll be about a day or two before you guys get your money. I work with Square. I've been running my business for the past four years with Square, so I know exactly how it works. But if you've been running this business for years, your money going to clear the next day, correct? So this morning we got up. Mind you, I'm thinking I got to go back to help her because yesterday you ain't have nobody that wanted to work for you. You get what I'm saying? So my friend had me come and help you, and then my brother was really only out there, but you somehow trying to make it seem like, my brother was giving free haircuts when he was posting flyers with his pr prices on them. Come on. So then I wake up today. People hit me up talking about, we want to make your menus. We want to make your flyers. Da, 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 da. My main thing was, I'm not the face of this company. You get what I'm saying? I'm not the face of this company, but I can put you in contact. If you go through my comment section, you will definitely see where I'm tagging her business over and over and over because people thought it was my shit. So I hit her this morning was like, Kim, you have workers today? Also, there's a guy who's wanted to do your menu and flyers for you, so I'm sending him your number. Who is this? Sherelle. Yes, I have workers for today, and you can send me his info. Thank you. That was it. So I respond back. I will send you his Instagram, and did you see if your money cleared? You can keep the money that was left for me, but my brother is preparing to leave and go back home, and I'm unsure how he'll get it once he leaves. Granted, all I had to do was send it to her, or she could have sent it to him, whatever. She said, please call me back so an agreement can be made. But before we even got to those messages, she called me and she was just like, well, I didn't invite your brother to come out there and cut hair. I didn't invite you. My son invited you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a thousand dollars to my son and he'll give y'all whatever it is he see fit out of there. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. That's not what the brother said. See, this is where it all goes into the, uh, the ghetto greedy it's my shit thing. You know how people try to like, this my thing, I do what I want to do. Okay, that's where we at with this now. Now all of a sudden, I forgot all these people that helped me. I don't know you, I don't know you, I don't know you. Oh, okay, okay. But you should have because this young lady could help you, but let's, let's proceed. Hold on, ma'am, hold on. Now, I did you a solid by saying I get money. When I opened my eyes this morning, I had a deposit for $1,500. You get what I'm saying? And I made money since. So I, I told you to keep my money, but I was more so pressed about the issue of my brother. Keith Lee don't know my brother. My brother don't know Keith Lee. My brother don't know any of y'all out here. But when you gave him the green light to post his flyers after he cut both of your son's head, yes, they paid. He wasn't cutting nobody's hair for free. Who put that out there? If you cut it here for free, why are you posting flyers with prices? You get what I'm saying? There's a girl on Facebook, hold on, whom I'm assuming is her oldest son's wife, fiance, whoever she is. This is all lies, just like the free cuts were, because people had to pay. Of course they had to pay. The two people here that he cut was both of the owner's sons. So why the f*** would he be giving the owner's sons, whose mom is getting visited by Keith Lee, free cuts? You get what I'm saying? Because it was never advertised. 
But then I later found out my friend had said he assumed that he was given free cut. No, he pulled up to the area because he saw it as an opportunity because we couldn't make it to Jonathan's shop to meet him in time. No one. Y'all didn't hear it on my face. Y'all didn't see it on my platform. Y'all didn't hear it on my brother's mouth say, I'm giving free cuts, pull up to the spot. Do you know how many people would have pulled up? Keith Lee probably was under the assumption. Hell yeah, he didn't even say it. Let's be honest. Keith Lee didn't even say, oh, I'm giving you $1,000 because. He said, I'm giving you $1,000 so you can go and get free haircuts. But bitch and see, right here is where that food truck um, owner start messing up. She started, and the, and the son start assuming that Keith Lee meant something different. He never said. He was very direct about what he said. Give the hair, the, the braider a thousand and the barber a thousand. And basically, you know, it helps their business out. That's what he does. He helped a small business. So that was a blessing for her and a blessing for him, along with the food truck owner. But she's looking at it as if, well, he said, I can give them whatever I want to give them. And I don't think I should give them $1,000 because they were charging. They were charging people for their service. Like, nobody said that. You see what I'm saying? You try to look at ways to try to keep all this money for yourself. Not knowing if you have did what he said, you would have made 10, 10 or 20 times more than this. You'd have been so flourished that, that year. It just, that's greed, man. I'm we couldn't even make it out there to get free haircuts because you tripping over $2,000. Now, the principle of the matter is, because I know several of y'all out there thinking like, bro, it's just $1,000, bro. Like, don't you got more money than that? Don't TikTok pay you? Da, 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 da. TikTok pays me well. YouTube pays me well. Both of my Facebook pages pays me well outside of whatever it is that I do in my real life. You get what I'm saying? The principle of the matter is my brother is from Louisiana. My brother is a self-taught barber. He went and got his license just so he can work in a shop. And when he come out here and he posting up with all of his shit outside and he's saying, yo, I'm selling haircuts. Your sons come down and they sit in there and you're going to sit there and have a nerve to tell me, Keith Lee don't understand. Y'all not even a part of the brand. So I don't feel inclined to give you the money. Fuck you. Bro, like I'm not even playing when it comes to this shit, bro. I'm big on integrity. I'm big on doing what's right. I came out there and I helped you for free. I stood in that little bitty ass, hot ass mother truck to help you because my friend asked me to. And this is the thanks that I get. I couldn't even get a thank you from you at the end of the day, bro. Like, come on. The man walked up and literally said, I seen your life. I seen this live. The wife even said, hey, Sherelle, let me see that cheer. W was nobody on the live? Like, come on. Well, I know y'all was on the live, but come on, bro. You got your kids in the background fighting for you. Like, it ain't even your kids. It's that one lady who didn't even want to get in a food truck with you in the first place. That's how I ended up there. If your kids really gave a fuck, I would have been at home in my bed. I would have been at home in my bed. Key Lee would have never seen me type shit. I would have still popped out. I ain't even gonna lie, because my friend would have told me. But that's besides the point. The sole purpose of this was so you could get the exposure. You get what I'm saying? You wanted the Keith Lee effect. And we did our part to make sure that could happen. And I can't even say to make sure, to, 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 to kind of hope and pray that it would happen, and it did. You know what I'm saying? I'm screenshotting what Keith Lee put on here. Oh, yeah, and beforehand, that was the email I sent to him today because I, I was serious about my integrity. I was serious about the principle of the matter. If this man came all the way out here and he blessed your business with his presence and to say, this shit was good as a motherfucker, then the least you can do is get out of the way of somebody else's blessings and honor it after I already told you, you can keep my band. Who the fuck running around here saying, I don't want that thousand dollars, you can have it. Who's doing that? And I came and worked for you for free? For free? But today, all of a sudden, you wake up, you got workers. I wanted to leave you $1,000 for doing braids. Wanted to leave $1,000 to the barber so he can cut everybody's hair for free. By the time Keith Lee left, yo m closed the shop down. So the goal was for him to return today, right? But you look my brother dead in his eyes last night when he came to spend money at your establishment and told him, you missed your blessing, but I got the money that Keith Lee gave you. I'm going to give it to you when my money clears. But today you wake up and you sing in a different tune. And we want to tip you $2,000.
So at what point of it do you feel like you can play God and step in the way and say, oh, I'm going to block this blessing from this young black man who's trying and do what I want to do? And you think your shit going to prosper? Baby, I'm going to make it my personal mission to see that nobody will see sweetly seasoned. You hear me? I don't care if I got to post up on every block that you own and make protest videos. You do understand that a lot of these people wanted to come out and see my face. Do you hear it in the live? Is that Sherelle? Is that Sherelle? You get what I'm saying? I am the clout, bro. I'm the clout. And I'm pissed off and I'm really agitated at the fact that your sat there two days ago and said how your family treated you, how this person, that person, and that person treated you, and I don't know you from a kid. And I got up on my bed and I came to help you, and this is the thanks I get. Bitch, I ain't even get a real fucking thank you. And with all due respect, Keith Lee, I did not want to bring you into this shit, but you did your part, so now I got to do mine. The S effect is in full effect, and I'm on your ass. Woo, that young lady is mad. She cursed too now. Man, all them, I'm trying to beat that stuff out like, good God, young lady, you killing my little button. But I understand where she's coming from. You went out there to help another upcoming black small business. And soon as they get their blessing, they start telling everybody else to kiss their butt. That's basically what it was. All these people that volunteered come up there, even the people cutting the hair, it, everybody that's in there doing something can go over and get something to eat. So the opportunity, they get there, they're going to grab something to eat and then leave. That's the purpose she brought her brother in, the girl doing the hair. If y'all got something going on, come on down and set up. It brings more people to the to the little vent, to the area. But you get mad because you said, I didn't tell them to do all. So that's what we at with. That's that's the mentality. Well, they not with me. I didn't tell them to do this. But that's what y'all, that's what I'm saying. Our people, every freaking time, I tell you. Okay, you guys. First of all, I want to say I'm not a scammer. And I'm not a thief. I am just a person who's trying to make it every day. I want to give a shout out to my son for marketing me. Um, I don't know how many of you guys follow him, but because of him, that is the reason why Keith Lee came to visit me. Now, when I arrived that day, the only reason why Sherelle was there, and I don't know her that well. I don't know her that well. The only reason why she was there is because my son asked her to be there, I guess. I don't know. And then she said that she wanted to meet Keith Lee, so she just wanted to be there. So it wasn't that she was working for me. She really just wanted to be there for Keith Lee. Wow. Isn't that exactly what the young lady said? She came there to connect with Keith Lee. And while she was there, she helped the woman out and used her platform to bring people there. She's a popular TikToker, so she used the platform. I don't think the woman understand how this works. I think that's the biggest problem. You don't understand how... Uh, the influencers can influence people to come and hang out because of them. I think that's the problem. But she's being uh, she's being a butthole right now. Um, but I want to give a shout out to her anyway. You know, because her and my okay, they went on Facebook Live, Instagram, I don't know what platform it was, and they were marketing me, trying to get him out there to see me. So I still want to thank her for doing that. And yes, she do deserve to be compensated for that. But she will not even talk to me about that. You know? Um, now, getting to the nitty gritty. So we all out there. And my son called this guy I guess that's her brother. I didn't know him, never seen him, to come cut his hair. And he came out there to cut his hair. He plugged his thing into my generator, and he cut his hair. I'm in a food truck. I'm going crazy because I know he's coming, and I'm trying to get... So I'm not fully aware of what's going on outside, y'all. So next thing I know, I see a girl running, 
and Sherelle running, they hug, and I'm like, who, you know, who is that? Come find out she was supposed to have been braiding no girl hair, but she told her to come out there because she didn't want to miss Keith Lee. So when Keith Lee did arrive, it looked as if they were with me. And it looked as the big TikToker. I don't know much about her. All I know is I built this business from the ground up. Me and my son. And for her to even think, because she called somebody out there just to braid her hair, that she deserved a thousand dollars and try to make it seem like. Now I could see if when Keith Lee said, "Give that barber a thousand dollars for free haircuts," he should have said, "Anybody, come on, who wants their haircut for free? Come on!" Then he would have deserved it. Then that would have made him with me. See, this is where she's going wrong, right here. She's trying to say who deserves the $1,000 and who don't. That is not what the man said. He could care less if they were there with you or not. He was blessing their business. That's what it was. It had nothing to do with what you're talking about. You're trying to dictate who deserves. How can you tell who deserves the $1,000? You wasn't watching what that man was doing, cutting hair, or that woman doing and braiding hair. So how can you sit there and say what they deserve and what they don't when the man said that's giving the money, give them a thousand, give them a thousand. You keep two thousand. You want to keep three thousand, give your son a thousand, and tell him to break the other two off, whatever he feels like. So he can go give them a hundred dollars each, hundred and fifty dollars each, and keep the rest of it. But you trying to dictate that when that's not what was said. Just being greedy again. The man is blessing you with something you didn't have and you taking advantage of it and taking from somebody else. What kind of shit is this? And you think your blessings are going to keep coming? Man, come on. Because now you're helping me. You're shining on me. This man was not with me. He was only solely there. Because my son called him to cut my hair. Now, I would love to do the right thing. And I feel like I did do the right thing. Now, for her, and then I told her, on top of that, I didn't even have the money. He paid with a credit card. The money just hit the bank account today. I'm going to give my son what he deserves. And I would give her some what she, because she did market me that morning, but that's all she did. And he, I don't even know who he is. The barber, that's my son's head. He wasn't with me. Keith Lee, I heard he thought that they were my kids. They're not my kids. Th those were my son's friends. But this ain't even about money, y'all. This is about the principle. How dare you come and make it seem like this was something that it wasn't. You were supposed to be out there to support Sweetly Season, a struggling business. And then you turn around and make it seem like it was something that it wasn't. I dare you. I dare you. And yeah, for everybody, I'm just, I'm getting emotional because y'all have no idea how much work and effort I put into my business. And I don't know if this is going to make me or break me. Well, I can go ahead and tell you this now. This is going to break you. It is going to break the mess out of you. You fumbled the mess out of this blessing. Your Keith Lee experience, gone. You don't even know it yet. Just listening to what you just said, you don't even understand what just happened. You might well pack that little truck up and go park it behind the house. You done. I don't know, but I know I got God. I don't think I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'm going to keep Lee to tell me after him knowing the truth now, if that man tell me to give them the money, I'll give it to him. Because I've been doing, I'm in for doing the right thing. If he tell me 
to give them that money, knowing that they was not with me. And, and just to let y'all know, she's a scammer. Did she just call the, the TikTok girl a scammer? The one person who doesn't want the money? She, she told you to keep her thousand, just pay her brother. I don't even think it clicked in the woman's head yet that, oh, so I'd have got an extra thousand to keep. Yeah, so you'd have had three thousand, just pay her brother. But you're so busy trying to be a, be right that need to be right, that you're making a fool out yourself. Then you're gonna talk about if that man told me to give the money, then you he told you from the beginning. Yes, give and you will receive. That is true. He already told me to. He told me, yeah, he did. He said, he listen closely. Go to the video. Go to the video and listen closely to what he says. He says, give that barber the uh uh a thousand dollars for free haircuts. There was no free haircuts. My sons paid him. There was no free haircuts. He wasn't even there for that. He was never there for that. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? He was never there. She's too ignorant to understand that Keith Lee was paying for the rest of his time. So if nobody else showed up, then the boy actually made an extra $1,000. So if nobody showed up, you still made an extra thousand dollars. That's what he did. If two showed up, he still made a thousand dollars. You see what I'm saying? That's what she didn't understand. Like the boy left to go pick up their little brother, and in between that, that's when Keith Lee gave the money to give to her. She don't feel he deserved it because he wasn't there. He left, but he came back. So if he did cut some more heads, Keith Lee paid for it. And if he didn't, he she should have just had another thousand dollars. It wasn't for you to debate. That's how it works. I feel like Malcolm X and Martin Luther King with so many hate calls all night long threatening me. Oh, the free food. I, that's a lie. That's a lie. I gave, I, I supposed to close at five o'clock, but Keith Lee came right before that. So, I sat out to nine o'clock giving out free food to everybody. That is a lie. That is a lie. <laughs> you notice she's not saying that with too much confidence. That's a lie. Now everything else she's been strong about it, but that she's like, uh, that's a lie. Come on. Like Boo said, come on, man. Come on, man. You know your ass line. The girl said, after three people, you said to shut it off. And that sound like what somebody would say that work in a restaurant. Not somebody who just there helping in the cash register. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to end this. And I, I hope to see you guys. I'm not going to let this stop me. Um, I hope to see you guys. I have some great things coming up. Um, it is what it is. It was everything. You cannot believe everything you hear. And you cannot believe what people say. A facts is facts. But see, but he came up and did another video. And he wasn't happy about what happened with this situation. This is not much to talk about, but there are a few conflated and confused things that's going around about the situation. So let's talk about them. Three days ago, me and my family went to Sweetly Season Food Truck. Number one, nobody had any idea we was coming. They found out we was in Dallas like everybody else found out we was in Dallas because we was posting videos in Dallas. So in hopes of us coming, they had t-shirts made and they was on live all day. So me and my family wasn't in cahoots with none of this. We was all under the impression that they were a team and this was a normal routine for them. The barber being there, the braider being there, family being there, a lot of people being there. This is our first time here. We are customers. We have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. 
Number two, I was never under the impression that haircuts was free. Again, my family was watching the lives. We knew that he was cutting hair for $40. So when we walked up and I said, I want to get $1,000 to the barber to do free haircuts and $1,000 to the braider to braid hair, it was because in the original video, the son said it was slow due to marketing. That's marketing. God willingly, after we post the video, there will be a line out the door. If there's a line out the door and there's a barber and a braider doing hair while people are waiting, that's marketing. So again, it's in a hood. You play some music, you cutting hair, you braiding hair, you're all sitting out, you're having fun. It's a parking lot barbecue. So again, we don't know the behind the scenes if they knew each other, if they didn't know each other. And the reason why I didn't pay everybody individually, the interaction that you see looked longer than what it was. It was really only like a five minute interaction. Within that five minutes, 30 to 40 people pulled up. They was pulling up in droves. That parking lot was getting deep, fast. And for me and my family safety in general, I don't ever carry cash around. And nine times out of 10, if we tip, we always do it through the POS system. And even if we wanted to do it a different way, Zelle and Apple Pay wasn't an option because it was four or five people at the same time on live. So for safety reasons, they wouldn't be able to say their phone numbers or their personal information out loud. And as far as them taking my phone and putting their number in on Zelle themselves, I wouldn't hand them my personal phone to nobody. So the POS system was the option that made the most sense. I've learned through this journey that sometimes it's deeper than the food, it's deeper than the marketing, it's deeper than the customer service. And this is one of those cases in my opinion. Sweetly Season got a lot to figure out and I thank God in advance that they do figure it out. The last thing I'm gonna touch on is the sun is misconstruing something that I said and I don't appreciate it. After I said out loud in detail what we deemed the money to be used towards, I also said y'all can divvy it out how y'all feel necessary. Meaning after the money hits because it's a POS system, it don't hit the same day. Y'all can send it out through Apple Pay, through Zelle, through Cash App, through Check, through Cash, however y'all feel necessary to spread it amongst the team. I thought and I still think that that's a very clear statement, but it's being misconstrued, in my opinion, intentionally misconstrued, that I see it and the mom and the son can say who get the money and who don't get the money. <laughs> So Keith Lee did tell her to distribute the money how she felt necessary. Now, this is crazy. This the dude, the son, that asked Keith Lee to come and help support his mom little business. And now you on here trying to manipulate it as if, oh, he did tell him to do. Come on. Really? For $4,000? You ain't got to worry about him anymore. Y'all going to make this man change on how he do things. Because all you little ratchet butts out here trying to take advantage of the man's generosity. Now he got to pay attention to what he's doing because he's leaving money for people and people not giving it to the people it's supposed to go to. I never said that. Regardless of what was going on behind the scenes, I felt on my heart to do what we did. So for the mom to go on the back end and disregard where my heart was at and what I felt like God was telling me to do in that moment and distribute the money how she felt necessary is 100% wrong in my opinion. I see the memes and I see the jokes, but I am not in the business of shutting businesses down. Her actions did not sit right with y'all and her customer base. That resulted in the situation that she in today. We just ate the food and left a tip. I pray in advance that everybody in the situation stays safe. That's my biggest concern. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Hi, everyone. I am reaching out to you guys today because I have been having some to meet me whatever i respond back to you and i say send it to my brother and what do you say you said i have cash where you at i said i'm home but i'm busy and then you say the rest of this stuff right here you keep trying to spit in my face and make it seem like this shit was for clout when you originally knew that i was coming out there solely to connect with keith lee it was never a clout situation. If it was a clout situation, all that shit would have been me. I would have been wearing my brand. <clears throat> I would have brought my books. I would have had all my cameras set up. This shit, I would have made that shit about me. And for you to sit here and still try to give an ultimatum talking about will she choose clout or will she choose money? You know what I want to choose? <clears throat> I want to choose an apology. 
I want to choose for your mom to get that thousand dollars in her hand and to come and apologize to me for one downplaying the role that I played in all of this and for two acting as if you were the sole reason that all of this shit happened you want to know what you the sole reason of you're the sole reason of why your mom will never succeed in the city of Dallas my city see I was cool I was gonna let it steam off I was gonna let it just relax and chill I even made it my personal mission to not make another video about this shit because I did not want you to say that I was gonna be doing this shit for clout now if you want to get technical this is a clout video this is a clout video I said that I was gonna come and talk to you I said that I was gonna try and like work some shit out I even told you that I didn't want the money send it to my brother yesterday you lost your bank card today you got cash I'm just really confused about the whole situation but another thing that really threw me for a loop you sat here on this platform and you lied you told these people that you did not invite me you told these people that my kids are missing you told you get what I'm saying you said all of this demeaning counteracting ass bullshit and I'm supposed to chunk it up and mend the relationship when you still lying bro you still lying your mom does not have the audacity to approach me and say look I apologize this is bigger than money I've made that money fucking 10 times since come on this shit is bigger than money Trey I want you to be as solid as you claim to be you get what I'm saying you want me to go on my platform and you want me to erase every video I want you to get on your platform I want your mama to get on her platform and I want you to apologize that's it I want you to apologize for humiliating me I want you to apologize for humiliating my brother I want you to apologize for what y'all did to Keith Lee you know what I agree with her they need to apologize because they made a mess of this this young man travels around and try to help failing businesses thrive again. He comes out, he gets people to come to your place, and you turn around and, and poop on him. You're going to take the money he gave to other people. I mean, you're just straight greedy. Just take the money, and then you're going to throw a fit about it. You're going to lie about it. And now, when you're getting all this stuff online, and nobody's showing back up for your little truck. Now you want to mend all this. Now you want to give the money back. But it's too late now. It's just too late. It just, if you didn't have it in your heart, and see, that's the thing, you always been like that. See, you didn't, that the, the TikTok didn't know her that well. But see, that lady has always been like that in her heart. Because you don't just do something out of the blue like that. Well, you know when somebody's coming there and showing you some blessings and, and looking out for you and trying to help you, and then you take the blessing from someone else to fill your pocket? No. See, that woman has a hateful heart, and it showed. And that's why that business wasn't moving the first time. You see what I mean? The business was about to fail the first time. Even with all this, she's a chef and went to all these schools, these degrees. And your truck was failing. Why was that? Because your heart is not where it's supposed to be. You've probably been pooping on people for the longest. And you're just getting what you get. But you're not about to get it again, though. I can guarantee you. you about to go down. This is about the principle. And y'all feel like y'all can throw money? Or try to easily correct some shit and make all these weird ass subliminal ass weird ass fucking messages and, and videos and all of this other ass shit. No sir. No sir. But you know what I do know as well? You see all of this shit that's transpiring. You see all the connections that I'm making. You see all of this, that, that, and a third. And here you come. Crawling back. Which is perfectly fine. But had you been crawling back in the proper mindset, in the proper manner, we could have worked some shit out. I was the one that was there for you. I was the one that would bend over backwards for you. I was the one putting together pieces of the puzzle that you did not know how to put together. And until you can stand on 10 toes and respect me for what's going on, I ain't got nothing to say, baby. Hi, everybody.
everybody so i decided to close down early it was like three hours and no one came so my question is and do you think i should have stayed and if you think so why because gas was like i said you would think that somebody like this that went through something like that it was like i basically got no business so i had to leave because i'm not making no money you would think that she wouldn't fumble that keith lee effect like that but she most definitely did by being so greedy okay so as you guys can see she fumbled the keith lee effect fumbled it she's back to zero right back where she started nobody's showing up now you went from having a parking lot full to no one showing up because of your greed. Oh, well. Well, guys, it's time for me to get up out of here. I had to stop by and do that because I saw that video. I was like, man, I got to do some of this. But y'all let me know how y'all like the video. Like I said, I'm trying to do more videos sort of like this. So let me know in the comments how you like it. And definitely comment on this foolery. This is ridiculous. But I got to get up out of here. And y'all don't forget, hit that subscribe, like, share, and don't forget to that notification to what? To get the next video. And as always, always, and always, it is your boy, Mr. Nobody. And I'm up out of here. Peace.